This car has been Sonia's home for almost a year and a half. She sleeps in it with her carer Peter, parked outside a relative's house in Launceston's northern suburbs. It's impacted a lot. Um, they wake up crying, break down all the time. Um, you think, where are you going to have your next feed? Where are you going to have your next shower? They've found it almost impossible to find an affordable permanent home. We've tried heaps, lots and lots of places, but there's always 20, 30 people in front and they're always willing to offer six months in advance and pay extra rent as well. In the 2006 census, just over 1,000 people said they were homeless. That grew by about 400 people in 2011, with another small rise in 2016. But they exploded in 2021, when 2,350 Tasmanians were homeless on census night, a 45% increase. We recognise we have a very big job to do, uh, but we are getting on with the job. Uh, we've got a very clear plan uh, to increase the housing supply. The government's spending more on housing and homelessness services per capita than any other state, but the opposition says it's not reaching the right places. We have gone from a state that used to have the lowest rate of homelessness to one that now has the fastest growing rate of homelessness in the nation. We've heard so much about the cost of living crisis. We know that our population growth in Tasmania is continuing to escalate. So we don't see these figures as being stemmed anytime soon. The data shows 569 people under the age of 18 were classified as homeless on census night in 2021. The government says that includes young people living in shelters, overcrowded houses and those living with their family in temporary accommodation. 13 were living on the streets. Behind every number um, there is a, a young person, a child, uh, that should have that fundamental right of being safe and have a roof over their heads. Adam Langenberg, ABC News.